Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to create a webinar using Microsoft Teams. Today, we're going to take a first look at a brand new meeting that just recently landed in Microsoft Teams, and it's called Webinars. Let's jump into Microsoft Teams and let's look at how we can take advantage of webinars. Here, I am in the main calendar view of Microsoft Teams. And to set up a webinar, go up to the right hand corner next to the new meeting button and click on this drop down. And right here, we see the option for webinar. So how is this different from other two meeting types? Right up here, you have your standard meeting type and this is probably the one that you're most familiar with. This is typically used for smaller interactive sessions. And down below, you have live events. This is mainly for communicating information out from a few people to many and there's really minimal interactivity. Let's click into webinar. This now drops me on a page where I can define the details of this webinar. The very first question is, who has to register for this event? When I click on this drop down, I could set it so no one has to. Only people in my org or everyone has to. I'll leave it to only people in my org. Down below, I also have the option to configure what the registration form or page looks like. And in a moment, we'll come back to configure that. Next, I need to refill out all of these different fields and these will only be visible to the presenters. Right here, I'll tap in a title for the upcoming meeting. And with this town hall, we wanna make sure that our president attends. Right down here, I can also set a time for the webinar. This time and this meeting invitation will only go out to me and the president. And separately, when we go into the registration form, we'll set the time for the webinar and for all of the attendees. So why would you want to set it up so this time doesn't match the registration form? Well, maybe you want a little bit of buffer time to prepare ahead for the webinar. The actual webinar runs from 12 to 1. And so this way, we'll set up 30 minutes ahead of time just to make sure we're prepared to answer all the questions. Right here, you can add a location and type in the description. After you've filled out all the details, next, let's click in to customize what the registration form looks like. Now up at the very top, we have the option to upload an image so we can turn an otherwise bland registration form into something that's a little bit more exciting. I mean, after all, you're trying to get people to come to your event. When you click on upload an image, this opens up a prompt where you can upload your image. And right down here, you can see what the ideal dimensions in pixels are. Over on the left hand side, I can fill in some of the event details and all of the attendees who come to this page will be able to view these details. And just a few things to call out, you'll notice with the time that it starts 30 minutes later than the previous form that I filled out. And this is when the actual attendees will start joining. Also, just a quick pro tip, down below, make sure to call out a lot of very positive things about your speaker that will surely lead to a promotion. Over on the right hand side, you can define what information you want attendees to fill in. So let's say their name, their last name, the email address, and here you can add additional fields. You have all these preset options and you can even add your own down below. Here, I'll add a free form question. I've added the question and I made this required. Make sure to add a free form question to weed out employees who just don't answer correctly. Now that we have configured this page, up in the top left hand corner, let's click on save. Now that we saved this page, we can also preview what it looks like. Up in the top right hand corner, just click on view in browser. When everything looks good, up here on top, we can copy the registration link and you can share that in email, LinkedIn, Teams, however you want to share it. Within meeting options, you have a number of different settings. Decide if you want to allow attendees to be able to use their mic or if you want to allow cameras, meeting chat. So you can configure all these different settings. Once you're ready to join the webinar, simply click on join within the meeting. Once we join the meeting, we can view the lobby to see everyone who's waiting to join. In your Teams webinar, it is just like your standard Teams meeting. You have access to all of the same controls that you would expect. Here you could share your screen. Here you could start a breakout room. Here you could view all the different participants. And here you could see that everyone who registered for this webinar shows up as one of the attendees. Once the webinar is all over, up in the top right hand corner, you can click on this drop down and it will end the meeting for everyone. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you see yourself using webinars in Microsoft Teams? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Webinar Loop. Run live, on demand, scheduled and webinar replays with hands-free automation and breakthrough sales getting features no hosting required dozens of ready templates engagement and sales boosters 
never seen before engagement and sales boosting technology, full screen lifelike experience, call to action with clickable buttons, info boxes and engaging tidbits, live polls on webinars, surveys on webinars, infographics and ads on webinars. Webinar Loop is the only webinar marketing system you will ever need. So what are you waiting for? Get Webinar Loop now. Just go to getwebinarloop.in And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. And thanks for watching.